What it do, YouTube? Today, we're gonna talk about maybe a fact you didn't know about. A uh, visceral fact. See, today I'm out here at the playground. Not much going on today. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in in advance. Uh, I pay attention. What is visceral fat? Anybody know? Probably never heard of it. Some probably heard of it in the medical field. But visceral fat is just simply fat, not below the skin, but organ fat. Now, organ fat, that's one thing, and sub subcutaneous fat is the other. That's the fat we normally see. Subcutaneous fat would be the one under the skin. You know, the one that's very noticeable in your arms, you know, legs, things like that. But uh, visceral fat, fat form, fat tissue that's formed on the organs, internal organs, such as your liver, your intestines, uh, pancreas, and things like that. Now, due to the, the risk of the environment you're in, it could range from, you know, you have very high visceral fat or very low. Uh, Alright, now for starters, I want to give y'all some tips and uh, tips and ideas, and basically the risk of visceral fat as well as subcutaneous fat or any fat of your body, as well as how to lose it. So, we're going to get right into it. Alright, uh, very high visceral fat levels can cause severe risk of heart attacks, heart disease, uh, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, Alzheimer's, and uh, colorectal cancer. So you have all those risks within high levels of visceral fat. This as well as your body is very insulin resistant. It's very high in insulin, insulin, insulin resistance level. I'm sorry, y'all forgive me. But uh, those are some risks. Uh, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, those are some of the main risks with visceral fat. So you want to always make sure you're taking care of your health at any cost by any means. So that's some risk. Now. What causes visceral fat? Visceral fat is basically produced uh, with foods high in trans fats, such as uh, some dairy products, maybe um, fried foods, uh, things like that. Those are foods that are very high in trans fats. And that normally was the main cause for visceral fat. Now how you do that, you switch your diet habits up. Uh, to lose it, you switch your diet habits up, such as uh, you go on lean diets such as you know lean meats, uh, a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, uh, complex carb foods such as sweet potatoes, uh, oats, things like that. Uh, as many other diets, uh, keto will probably be the most famous for for this type of uh, uh, subject. But it's more on the lines of make sure you're eating healthy and stay away from your trans fats or your unhealthy fats. Uh, may I say? Also, other ways to lose it will be you know working out. Now the best workouts to lose visceral fat would be uh, cardiovascular workouts. Very uh, intense, I wouldn't say intense, but something like aerobics, um, cycling, um, swimming, you know, things like that, running as usual. Uh, but aerobics would probably be the easiest and most fan favorite. You know, the aerobics play because it's fun. Learn how to dance, maybe things like that. Um, so you can be more, you can focus your body more on burning that fat as well as subcutaneous fat. Uh, another thing too, you want to also uh, detox it for once in a while, whether you're mixing detox drinks, uh, detox, you know, you, your lifestyle in general, you know, fast from certain things and certain ideas in life. Uh, as well as detox goes, you want to uh, drink plenty of water. Uh, they have many, many ways. One of my favorite uh, water drinks, may I say, uh, pretty much you can combine lemon with anything. So lemon water is one. Uh, lemon water and cayenne pepper, uh, that's another. Uh, berry infused water, that's basically you take a bunch of berries and you uh, drop it in your water bottle, like cucumber, lime water, things like that. So you just let it infuse itself within the water for a few hours and, and you drink it at least three times a week. Uh, or every day, whatever your, prefer, your preference is. Can't, can't tell you that. Uh, but detox water like that, uh, even green tea, you know, natural green tea, no sugar, uh, unsweetened tea, things like that. Something to, you know, keep your organs healthy at all times. Also, other ways that you can lose visceral fat, uh, be sleep. 
uh, less stress on the body as well. Uh, so don't stress a lot. So focus. You want to focus on your spiritual balance within your life. When you say don't stress, such as you know your meditation. Uh, let's see, it's meditation. You know yoga, things like that. I just said sleep. Um, so there's many other things too. You know whether you got a crafty habits you do such as drawing maybe like sewing you know you just want to de-stress your body and uh make sure you know the tension is off for you so that's other ways to help visceral fat burn and focus your body on burning fat in, ge in general so these are my tips and tricks for y'all that you probably didn't even know about so with that being said i just want to that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. So thank y'all for tuning in. I hope you learned something. I'll drop more videos and content like this, you know, to help y'all lifestyle, y'all diet out, as well as with the fitness goals and things like that. Be sure to follow, like, and share, and subscribe. Uh, tune in for more. Thank y'all once again.